A31 is bringing you coverage you can count on this evening. What you need to know to protect yourself from identity theft. This after a woman scammed several Redstone Federal Credit Union branches all across the Tennessee Valley out of almost $200,000. How does she do it? We're told with a little help from the dark web. Way 31 reporter Paige Meyer has been digging into this story today. Paige joins us now after speaking to a legal expert about this. Danico, yes, I'm at the Redstone uh, Federal Credit Union here on Wind Drive. This is just one location that lost thousands of dollars. Now, Jay Town, U.S. former uh, district attorney, says this is something that everyone should be concerned about. He says that we need, all need to be overly cautious where we put our personal information. Now, court documents say Deandra Green went into several Redstone branches presenting different fraudulent identities, opened accounts, obtained loans, and withdrew cash. These identities were purchased from the dark web, where Greer then used an app to find a vendor to purchase a driver's license in their name. J-Town says most of our personal information, believe it or not, is on the dark web right now. He says there's so much information out there, to not worry about it would be a mistake. Town says we all need to keep good care of our personal information, putting online the least amount possible. If there are places, um, you know, marketplaces that you engage where your data is being shared, you can you can bet that whatever you're sharing is going to wind up uh, on the dark web and perhaps in the hands of criminals. So we really have to be overly zealous in our protection of our information. Town says to take extra care of your date of birth, social security number, and bank details. He says you shouldn't save this information over the phone or put it in an email. And if you get a charge you're unsure about, even if it's small, you should call and report it to your bank. Being aware of these criminals and their tactics can bring you one step closer to preventing crime from happening to you. For more information, you can head to our website at waytv.com. Reporting live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Wait 31 News.